Alright, so what is going on everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Rodman and today I have a video that I've been planning on making just for the fact that I have a fucking hair standing up right here. All right, there we go. I have a video that I've been wanting to make for a cool while just because I did a video when it was completely stock. I did do a couple upgrades or not upgrades, mods to it. Uh, I am gonna bring you guys a video on what I've done. It's really nothing special. It's just to get my car looking decent. If you guys could tell already by the word stock, we are gonna be doing another video on my Mustang. It is just a basic EcoBoost six speed manual and performance pack. You guys will see it when I go downstairs. I was gonna go and do like a whole ass, uh, you know, take it to a nice little spot and stuff. But honestly, I'm way too lazy to do that. So I'm probably just gonna park it outside and show you guys what I've done. I've really done nothing special to it. I've done, let me switch my hands because already, I'm already tired. So I've done one of two things. I did actually three, which one of them doesn't really count, but I did I, I did buy a new shift knob, so I don't have the red one anymore. I bought a weighted one now. And then as well as I have lowering springs on the car as well, I went with H&R Super Sports just because it was the biggest drop I could find for the Mustang without going to coilovers. So I did buy the um, Super Sports as well as I bought one inch spacers for all four of the wheels. So now the wheels sit flush and yeah, that's pretty much all I've done to it. I will show you guys the car, how it sits right now, as well as how it looks, just because that's the point of this video. So you guys can see how the feminine is and all that stuff. And just showing you guys what the car looks like. Let me go back this car up, show you guys what it looks like out in the sun. So I'll be right back. you guys so i'm sorry for the wind noise it's a bit windy outside this is how my car is looking right now give you guys a full shot so this is what my car is looking like right now uh let me that's what she's looking like so what i ended up doing was so as i said in the in the previous clip i did go with h and r super sports for the springs you probably can't see them in there just because it offered a one a one and three quarter inch drop in the back, which as you guys can see, it got my fitment to be about a finger, a space between the fender and the wheel. And as well as I did end up going with, as you guys can see right here, this black part, I'm sorry for the shadows, uh, but this is the side that the sun's hitting so you can see it better. But yeah, a one inch spacer right there, one inch spacer. So I did the one inch spacer all around. Same thing with the front. As you guys can see right there, right there, that's the spacer. And then the front drop is 1.6 inches, which is about two fingers from the wheel to the fender. Which if you ask me, it is a really, really good drop because it makes it look good as well as makes it nice and rideable. So I have not scraped at all. Do you still looking good as ever? No front plate still. I have gotten two tickets already for it, but I just put the fix it ticket and then take it off as soon as I leave the police station. That's what I do with the front plates. Uh, in terms of the inside, it is kind of messy because I do have my gimbal in there. All I've really done different is I bought, I bought this thing. Mishimoto uh, weighted shift knob. Got the M for Mishimoto in there. And other than that, man, it's pretty stock on the inside. Everything I saw, I, I mentioned in the previous video. I don't know if I've mentioned, but I did get a window tint. I did 20% on the side windows, 5% on the three rears. The back is stock. I want to get the gloss black deck lid. And then I'm working on getting new wheels. I will have new wheels on this shit soon. I am going to get 18s with a fatter tire. Just giving you guys a little preview. Oh, actually, I am going to mention this right now because by the time this video goes up, it will probably in, be installed already. I do have 
a stage two kit coming in for this car from Cobb. So it comes in with a access port with a front mount intercooler as well as a cold air intake. She should be pushing about 290 300 horsepower to the wheel. Uh, she's up at about 220 right now. 300 to the crank. 300 to the wheel should be pretty fun. Peep my dude. So I will have some performance upgrades on it soon. Stage two tune on 91. She should be, you know, gapping a couple stock Ecos. So yeah. Like I said before, she is coming along nicely. It did take me about a year to finally start modding it for some reason. So now that I'm modding it, I'm modding it heavy and in a short period of time because I am working. So yeah. Stage two, lowering springs, uh, spacers, soon to be wheels, and I also need tires for the wheels, and I am gonna keep these stocks. I'm not gonna get rid of them, just in case if I end up getting another car, I could throw the other wheels onto the other car, and you know, vice versa, just mix and match. So yeah, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will try to get a couple clips for the montage. I know my face is completely blown out. Uh, let me see if I could do something about that. So yeah, uh, enjoy the montage, Rodman signing out, follow me on Instagram, I do have pictures of the car and as well as fits on there, it's Rodman, it's pretty much R-O-D-M-A-A-N-N, -N. because I changed it, I just didn't want to get the um, S550 on there, so yeah, now it's just Rodman, R-O-D-M-A-A-N-N-N-N, so yeah, my photography one is the same exact one as always, Rodman.visuals, I will have them down in this corner. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy how the build is coming. And if you don't, just comment what you don't like about it. I honestly don't give a fuck. It's my car. But yeah, I just want to know. <laughs> so yeah, Rodman signing out.